Hello students, today's agenda is to check homework. Uh, we'll be learning about the recursive formula with two initial points and you will be able to work on 5.9. Today, students will be able to create recursive formulae with two initial points. So, uh, before we start class today, I asked them to watch a video in YouTube that says um, Fibonacci sequence in nature, I believe. Okay, something like that. I, I can't remember if, if it says Fibonacci sequence or Fibonacci numbers in nature. Uh, but it just tells you of how amazing nature is and how nature knows math. Okay, so um, yeah, go ahead and watch it before you watch this video because it's fascinating. And so the Fibonacci numbers are 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, 34, etc., etc., etc. And it continues. Now, how do you get this sequence? Well, if you notice, and if you watched the video already, it's 1 plus 1, you get 2. 1 plus 2 gives you 3. To get this one, you need to add 2 plus 3, 5. To get this one, you need to add 3 plus 5, 8. 5 plus 8, 13. 8 plus 13, 21. 13 plus 21 is 34, and so on. So if I needed to find the next one, I could just add the previous two. So let's say that this is n. I'm looking at uh, term n. I need to look at the previous one, meaning n minus 1. And the previous one, which is, uh, I mean the previous before that, which is n minus 2. Hmm. Now that's, and what do I do with these two numbers? I add them, okay? This is n, so that means that this is n minus 1, n minus 2. It just means, look at the previous one. Look at the uh, second previous one, okay? And add them together to get this. So, f of n minus 1 is 34, f of n minus 2 is 21, and 21 plus 34 is 55. So that's how we can actually write the recursive formula. With two points, it means you're going to find the first point, which is 1, and then f of 2 is the second term, so the second one is also 1. And to find the whatever number you need, it's going to be f of n equals, again, f of n minus 1, meaning look at the previous one, plus f of n minus 2. So it means go back two spaces and get that. Okay, so this is what they're going to be asking for, and that's what you would give them. That's the recursive formula with two points. Okay, now what if they ask you not for the not to write the recursive formula with two points, but what if they give you the the formula with the two points and it says find the first five terms. And so they give you the first point, f of 1 is 5, f of 2 is 4, and they give you f of n equals f of n minus 2 plus twice f of n minus 1. Okay, it's getting more interesting with that in here. And so, well, we already know the first two terms. The first one is 5. 
the second one is four, how do I find the third one? Well, I need to look or figure out by following this formula. It says, look at f of n minus two. So I go back, oh, and I'm gonna do the work here. So look at f of n minus two, that's five. Okay, for this one is five plus, you're gonna multiply two times f of n minus one, meaning if I'm looking for this one, of f of three, because this is f of one, f of two, f of three, I'm gonna look f of f of n minus one, meaning the previous one, and multiply by two, so it's gonna be four. So it's gonna be five plus two times four is eight, and that gives me 13. Okay, and I think I want to do it with more structure in here. This is just like a shortcut. Look at the previous one. Look at two ago or, I mean, okay, just without actually following. But what if I want to look, this is f of one, f of two, f of three. Now I'm looking for f of four, okay? f of three, f of two. This is f of one. So how do I find f of four? Let me use the whole formula just so that you can see, and hopefully I don't get you too confused, but this is actually how you would see it. So f of four, meaning this number, is gonna come up from f of four minus two plus twice f of four minus one, okay? twice f of four minus one. So f of four minus two is f of two plus twice f of four minus one means f of three. Now what I'm gonna do is to replace f of two. What is f of two? I go back to f of two and what do I replace it with? Oh, there is a four in f of two. Plus two times f of three. So go back to f of three and I see that there is a 13 in there. Okay, so twice f of 13. I mean f of three, which is 13. Now I'm gonna do four plus two times 13 is 26. And four times 20, plus 26 is 30. So in here, it's gonna be 30. Now, the only difference between these two and this is that I'm not doing the steps with the f of n minus two, it just means go back to spaces. Oh, it does the four right there. And then twice, twice f of n minus one, meaning twice the previous one. So I'm gonna go back one space, only one space, and that's 13, twice 13, okay? So basically, I was in here I was skipping this part, which might be a little confusing, but that's how I taught it in Math 1. So maybe it'll help, may it'll, be, it'll not help, I don't know. Okay, so that's 30. Let me put more paper here. For the next one, uh, for the next one in the sequence, the last one, again, it means look at the, not the last one, but two before. So for this space, which is gonna be f of five, I'm gonna, it says look two spaces before, so one, two, so that's 13, okay? And then plus, twice the previous one, f of n minus one, meaning go one, one space back, so chuk, twice 30, two times 30. And so, and so 13 plus two times 30, 60, and 60 plus 13 is 73. So this number here is 73. Okay, and so those are the five 
the first five terms, five and four are given to us, and then we just have to follow what this formula says to find the next ones. Uh, you have to be careful because sometimes you're going to be multiplying the sec th this one two spaces before times two or times three, or you might have only one combination. Okay, so you have to look at the, what the formula says. Okay, I think I want to repeat it just so that you can see what it means, okay? Again, the first one is given, f of one is given, f of two is given, f of three, you find it by looking at the formula, and maybe I can just choose two different colors. And then remember that this is multiplied by two, f of n minus one is multiply by two. Okay, so again, how did I find that 13? By looking at two terms ago, so ch -ch, that's five, plus twice one term ago, ch -ch. okay, and two times four is eight, plus five equals 13. Okay, now this one. Look at two terms before, so ch -ch, that's four. Oh, and I should use purple because two terms ago is four. And then look at the term before, ch -ch, but multiply by two, okay? Plus, look at the term before and multiply that term by two. And two times 13 is 26, plus the four equals 30, so that's that. And finally, so that's for this one, this is for this one, and now for this one, again, n of n, f of n minus two means, look two terms to find this one, look two terms before, so 13 plus, twice the term before. Look one term before, so 30. And so two times 30 is 60. Plus 13 equals 73, okay? Again, that's with a shortcut. Um, I'm not sure, maybe they will ask for all the procedure with all the function notations here and maybe you can just review this one, what it really is and, and how, how that represents this part and this part. And just talking, knowing that this, re, this means f of two, means f of two and you replace it with the value of f of two. This means two times f of n minus one. So that represented, um, f of n minus one, meaning going back one space only. Okay, replace that f of three by the 13 and bring down the two and multiply that, et cetera, et cetera. So now you can do 5.9 and have fun.